Hello guys, I'm Jihan. Welcome back to a new video. This is the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X OLED variant. Couple of years back, smartphone industry received an OLED screen upgrade. Now Asus is doing that with the laptop industry. This is another laptop that Asus has launched with an OLED screen. Obviously, we'll talk about this display and we have to talk about this display in detail. By the way, before starting off with the video and the laptop, why is this laptop? Why does this exist? And who is this targeted towards? This is a lightweight laptop in a way. And this can do a lot of things at the same time. This comes with Intel's i5 H series processors. There are multiple variants of this particular laptop. I have the i5 variant about which we will talk in this video. So if you are someone who creates a lot of content, color correction is one of your work. Or if you want to edit videos, if you're a real creator like me or a YouTube creator who wants to edit videos, on the go or while working from your home and you want something which looks great, works great, editing performance is good, then this is probably the laptop to go for without wasting any time. Let's get started with the design itself. We do see a lot of laptops with aluminum body and this laptop also does come with that. So it definitely feels premium when you hold it in hand. But the monotonous colors that we usually see on the front are not present here. We have Asus ViewBook branding. This is something which is different. The keyboard is different. It is not a single colored keyboard and the keyboard does have backlighting. Obviously, we'll talk about the keyboard in the later part of the video. But overall, the laptop does look nice. And when it comes to build quality, we have to talk about the weight. The laptop weighs at about 1.45 kgs. I have the 14 inch variant and this definitely feels lightweight. You can easily carry this laptop. Plus, this laptop does look professional it does not give those RGB gamery vibes where it's like you can't open this laptop in a professional meeting. You can definitely do that. No issues whatsoever. Next up, let's talk about the display itself because I was most excited about the display and I'm sure you must be too. So when it comes to the certifications, there are so many certifications that this laptop has received. Oh my God. The laptop has 100% sRGB color gamut, 133% DCI-P3 color gamut, Panton validated. If you do not understand these terms or the certifications, that's totally fine. Let me explain that to you. It basically means that the display is really good. It will display a lot of colors and it will display colors really well as well. Not just that, when it comes to a display, brightness is very important. So the laptop can go up to 600 nits, which is extremely good once again. So when it comes to viewing angles, watching movies, editing content and doing anything on the display, it is going to perform really good. LCD panel of any laptop in this particular budget does not come anywhere close to the quality of display that this laptop has to offer because this is an OLED screen. And when it comes to OLED screens, the first question that I have and I ask this to Asus as well, what about the burn-in issue? Then Asus has worked with Samsung because this is a Samsung OLED panel, pixel refresh technology. Asus has also implemented dark mode by default, meaning as soon as you set up your laptop, dark mode will be enabled by default because this is an OLED screen. Dark mode means that the blacks are going to look amazing. Basically, movie watching experience is going to be amazingly good on this laptop. If you're planning to watch a lot of movies, then this is definitely the laptop to go for. No questions asked here. But overall, display quality is something which I enjoyed on this laptop. I also enjoyed the keyboard, by the way. The keyboard looks different. You may not have seen a keyboard like this. Escape button has a dedicated orange color. The power key, which is very important, which is just above the backspace key and besides the delete key. But the good thing is that the backspace key can be pressed very easily and the power key cannot be pressed very easily. You have to use slightly extra force to press the power key, which means that you won't really press the power key accidentally if you if you are a normal person. You are not going to do that. But by mistake, if you press the power button, then you can simply keep your finger once again and the laptop will get unlocked instantly. This is actual fingerprint sensor working because the power button has fingerprint sensor inbuilt. I'll just do that once again to let you know that this is my finger. Uh, if I do, do it with this hand, as you can see, it doesn't work. If I do it with this hand, I'll just keep it here and it gets unlocked instantly. This is as fast as any smartphone that I use on day-to-day -day life basis. When it comes to keyboard, the key travel is really good. For long typing sessions, it is really good. There is no numpad on this laptop, but considering this is a 14-inch laptop and not a 15 or 16-inch laptop, I'm not going to complain about that. And the trackpad is big because it also has this Asus dial pad, which I am sure none of the other laptops present in the market have this. You can customize this even further by using the software which is inbuilt into the laptop. As a content creator, editing is very important for me. So CPU performance, GPU performance is also very important. And this one comes with Intel's i5 11300H processor. H series processor means that the power is unlocked. You get a lot better performance as compared to the U series of processors. And that is the case here. If you're planning to edit your real content or if you 
or your YouTube videos, 1080p real videos or 1080p YouTube videos which you have shot on your DSLR camera or on your phone are going to be so easy to edit on this laptop. This i5H series processor is not a bottleneck at all. You can edit all the videos comfortably without any issues. If you're planning to edit 4K videos, then that is definitely doable and possible on this laptop. It's just that 1080p videos are extremely smooth. Then 4K video editing, I would say is good because if you have a lot of 4K videos or 4K 60 FPS videos, then the timeline experience with the i5 variant is not going to be great. But for 1080p videos, which uh, a lot of people make, and if you're short form content creator, then that's more than enough. That's going to be just fine. The laptop comes with RTX 3050 graphic card, which is very important because it performs much, much better as compared to the MX series of graphic card, which you must have seen MX 150, MX 250, 350. 3050 is way better and way ahead of its league. It obviously helps in editing, but it will also help you in gaming because obviously I am not going to edit 24 by 7 once I'm done editing. I want to play a little bit of game like let's say CSGO. Uh, that's one of my favorite games. If you're planning to do that, then that can be done at 60 FPS very easily on this laptop. No issues whatsoever. I did a lot of benchmarks on this laptop and here are some of them which you can see. Uh, overall, I would say the laptop performed really good. As I mentioned, the H series processor is going to be more than enough for majority of the tasks. It is not going to be a bottleneck. Plus when it comes to the heating or heating issue, did I face any? Not really, it was just really normal temperature that it reached. It was not like crazy 100 degrees Celsius and the laptop becoming too warm. Actually, I was surprised with the thermal performance of this particular laptop, which performed really good. There are vents at the back here. There are vents here as well at the back, as you can see. So the laptop performance is going to be crazy good and the heating issue is something which you there is no issue at such so heating is something which you do not have to worry about it's not like the laptop does not become warm it is bound to happen obviously if you do video editing for let's say one hour or if you play games for one hour it is going to become warm but it does not become hot which is the difference in a normal laptop and a very good laptop when it comes to the port situation as i said this is creator oriented laptop so the port situation is really good we have a headphone jack port micro sd card usb type c port full size hdmi port usb a port then we have the dedicated charging port we also have two more usb a ports by the way the type c port which is present here also comes with thunderbolt 4 support which means uh, uh, I brag about this always. I love Thunderbolt ports and uh, it makes life so much easier if you have external SSDs or external gadgets, if you have external display which can connect through the Thunderbolt port. If you want to charge your laptop and you forgot the main brick, 120 watt brick which is present inside the box which charges the laptop very quickly, you do not have to worry. You can use your Type-C charger to charge the laptop with the Thunderbolt port because as I said, Thunderbolt 4 port is amazing and uh, it supports charging as well. Charging, display output, the copy paste becomes so fast. The basically 40 Gbps of speed is available, which I think you may not be able to utilize because it's too, too, too fast. And if you have some adapter, Thunderbolt 4 adapter, then you can do multiple things at the same time and it will not be a bottleneck for the laptop. Now the laptop comes with one TB of SSD, which is going to be more than enough for content creation. But as I said, Thunderbolt 4 port is there. So if you have an SSD, which is crazy fast, like let's say Samsung's T7 SSD, then you can uh, keep all your files in that particular SSD and edit your file and it will still work fine because of the Thunderbolt 4 port being so, so, so fast. There are so many software features in this laptop that I won't be able to cover them in this single video. This is going to be a review sort of video. So I will just talk about one feature which I enjoy on the Asus laptop. This is the AI noise cancellation. And I, when I was testing it, I made a video and you can check it out. I'm recording this video with the webcam. This is, I'm testing it right now. So this, the fan is turned on right now and AI noise cancellation, which is feature, which is in built into this, uh, is turned off right now. So I'm sure you can hear the fan. I'll just set it to, there are multiple modes basically. So I'll just set it to basic reception optimization. I set it right now and uh, I am kind of sure because I tried it earlier as well and I'm recording this again that you can't hear the fan right now. Even though the fan is still running, I'll set it to the maximum mode possible, which is multi presenter conference call mode and the AI noise cancelling is working super fine. By the way, for the uh, webcam, there is a dedicated physical switch which can turn it off. I mean, you can't see me right now because it is a physical switch. It is not a software switch. I 
opened it once again and uh, if i turn it off you can't see anything ai noise cancelling is working and the physical switch obviously works now if the 2.8k oled screen is coupled with a bad speaker then that would not be a wise choice right but asus paired with harman kardon and i'm happy to report that the speaker sounds really good really i mean actually it sounds good you can hear songs watch movies on this particular laptop in a room in a small room basically it won't fill the entire house or something like that for a laptop speaker this is really good it definitely met my expectations if the speaker would have been bad i would have been like ah the, it, but the speaker is good i don't even have to worry about the speaker being bad so no complaints on speaker front as well this is a 14 inch laptop and it comes with 63 watt hour battery which should be more than enough to get you through an entire day so if you do let's say word document editing excel sheet then 5 to 6 hours of screen on time is very easily possible screen on time meaning usage is easily possible if you do little bit of editing depending on how heavy the editing is the uh, usage time may vary so but i would always recommend you to plug in the laptop whenever you are doing heavy work such as editing or gaming because that gives you the best performance possible from the laptop so overall my experience with the laptop was really good if you are a content creator and if you consume a lot of media and if you are someone who does a lot of color correction then this particular 2.8k oled screen is going to be really good overall performance is also good most importantly you can carry this laptop around very easily 1.45 kg is not much of a weight in my opinion and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video if you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up if you still have any more doubt sessions or queries regarding this video do let me know about that in the comment section box below so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching